Hi, Peter here, and in today's blog I want to talk about potentially the future of mindfulness and how it might we might be forced to uh, really start doing mindfulness. And this follows on the back of last week's um, blog where I guess I talked about how difficult it is sometimes to get people to uh, keep doing their meditation. A lot of people try and start it and then just give up with other pressures. But a group of researchers in the US has now uh, researched and come up with a way to use the data, uh, the health tracking data that we get from things like Fitbits and Apple Watches and these, these new wearable computers that monitor our different health data and map that against a person's mental health. So we can track whether people are becoming anxious or depressed or, or in a you know, bad state of mental health. Now imagine the possible implications. For a start, we might be able to target people who are at risk of um, mental uh, problems, health issues, and help them. Uh, but also you can imagine a big brother approach where governments and companies are also tracking the mental health of people. And we know that there is billions and billions and billions of cost associated with mental health problems in the workplace. And you can imagine that companies would love to know the state of mental health of their employees. Not necessarily for evil um, purposes, uh, you know, also maybe to help those people uh, that uh, need a boost, but also uh, they could track people's mental health because we know that someone in a good state of mental health is going to be more productive, uh, have less days off and have a better influence uh, around the office um, for people. So this will be a, a possibly a revolution and whichever way you look at it, by being able to track and rank your mental health uh, against others, it'll be similar to physical health issues where we, it's very clear to us, you know, whether you're in a good state of physical health or bad state of physical health, and you will be uh, encouraged very much to do, uh, you know, on the physical health side, to do exercises and that things to stay fit. Well, you might be encouraged to do mindfulness and exercises like that to stay mentally fit. So that will have big ramifications. Um, you might see it as a sort of a big brother approach, but at the same time there are advantages as well. And uh, I think it's well placed for people in Skillful Mind that are wanting to bring meditation classes to, to companies and schools and hospitals where we can help people with the mental health. So have a think about it. It's uh, going to be a huge area of the future. And uh, I think I'm excited to, to see where it goes. And I hope you are too.